Trump's running mate, Governor Mike Pence of Indiana, could re release his tax returns as soon as tomorrow. And this could possibly serve to highlight that the guy at the top of the ticket has no apparent plans to do so, despite every major party nominee having done so since 1976. Trump says that his tax returns are under audit, though there is nothing to prevent him from releasing the ones who, that are under audit or to release previous years not covered by audit. According to a USA Today Suffolk University poll, 78 percent of voters say Trump should release his tax returns. Let's bring in our political panel now and discuss this and much more. Former Battleground States Director for President Obama and Hillary Clinton supporter Mitch Stewart, editor of the Weekly Standard Bill Kristol, and CNN political commentator and Donald Trump supporter Kaylee McEnany. Thanks one and all for being here. Kaylee, let me start with you. I want you to listen to something Donald Trump told Fox News about the timing of when he might release his tax returns. When the audit is complete, I'll release my returns. I have no problem with it. It doesn't matter. But the legal but how people does he say talk you about could my tax returns? Because in the meantime, the Bill, in the meantime, well, no, but nobody would recommend that. In the meantime, uh, she has 33,000 emails that she deleted. When is she going <laughs> to release her emails? She probably knows how to find it. Let her release her emails, and I'll release my tax returns immediately. So let her release her emails, and I'll release my tax returns immediately. It's cute. It also seems to suggest that. His entire reason for not releasing them, this ongoing audit, is not really why he's not releasing them. What do you think? Well, I think those two statements are compatible because he's under the advice of his counsel not to release the returns. However, he's willing to ignore the advice of counsel because that's just how bad he wants the American public to see emails that they are entitled to see, you know, the 15,000 emails that the Federal Records Act requires Hillary Clinton keep and safeguard for the public's view. Instead, she took sledgehammers, or her aides did rather, her proxies, to these Blackberries to bury uh, documents that she was entitled by law to release. Donald Trump's not entitled to release his tax returns. We know he's paying within the bounds of the law. He's been audited 10 times and he survived all of these audits. So he's paying within the bounds of the law. Hillary Clinton, meanwhile, ignoring the law and her aides are taking sledgehammers to documents we as the public are entitled to see. So Mitch, I mean, what Kaylee brings up, she has released like 32 years of tax returns. But when you look at other parts of her life, including this email issue, she's not exactly Madam Transparency. Well, you know, the FBI what, just, just reviewed 30 emails that were previously undisclosed, and all of them had previously been disclosed. The one that hadn't was a, a congratulatory note uh, from a, a, a dignitary a, abroad. And so she's apologized, uh, said it was wrong to have a, a, a server, um, a private server in, in the basement of her home. Um, and so I, I feel like she has been pretty forthcoming about that. Uh, what Trump isn't being forthcoming about this, depending on what day you ask him, is what he's going to do with these tax returns. At one point, he said that uh, he won't re release them because of an IRS. The IRS won't allow him. The IRS contradicted him on that. He then said he will only release them after the audit is done uh, until uh, he's asked another question in the same conversation where he then says he'll release them immediately if one other, you know, uh, statute has been uh, hit. And so there's no consistency with him with his tax returns. In fact, his son... Uh, said earlier this week that he should never release them. Uh, and so there's just no consistency within the Trump organization or with the candidate on what he's going to do with his tax return. What do you make of all this? Hillary Clinton's aides are destroying all of her Blackberries. Donald Trump's hiding his tax returns. It's really a wonderful presidential race we have here. You know, <laughs> they both have a lot to hide. Is what I make of is what I make of it. So you think that? Well, obviously we've talked about the Hillary Clinton thing before, but you also think he's hiding something in his tax returns? Hide? Yeah, probably he's not as generous as he might be of someone of his wealth and. Uh, God knows how, many ta what, how much tax he's actually paid. I don't th think there's so many other things, in my view, that disqualify Donald Trump that this is probably the least of it. And what do you think? Uh, as what do you think the she, case with Hillary Clinton. And what her, do you think she's hiding with the, in her emails? Well, it is pretty astounding. I mean, she said, I, I, I just deleted the personal emails. Really? Maybe you could just could have given them over and let other people judge what's personal or not. And then it turns out, well, some of the personal emails aren't personal, right? And that's very clear now that she was just not telling the truth about that. But the FBI did review those emails, correct? Which ones? The yeah. emails that are in question right now and found that there was nothing. The 15,000. Right, right. That it was not. Right, but there's a 30,000 yeah. that were defeated, deleted also. And Kaylee, I mean, I guess here's a question for you. If Mr. Trump released his tax returns, then he would be Mr. Transparency as opposed to Hillary Clinton. But now it's just muddied water. Why not just release the returns? 
Well, from a political standpoint, Democrats tend to goad Republican nominees into releasing their tax returns, as Mitt Romney did. And upon releasing his tax returns, we found out that, you know, Harry Reid was wrong, that Mitt Romney did everything right. He abided by the laws. But then Democrats proceeded to demonize Mitt Romney for having a bank account offshores that he was allowed to have that was within the bounds of the law. And they used his tax returns to berate him for, you know, using the law to his advantage in a way that was legal, in a way that is fair. Well, so I, I agree with Trump's son. I don't think he should release his tax returns. Why give fodder to Democrats, even if he's doing everything legally, which he is, Democrats will use them against him. But it's, it's not that Democrats goad Republicans into doing this. This is a, a bipartisan tradition since 1980. Reagan, Bush, I mean, every nominee, every major party nominee since Gerald Ford in 1976 decided not to do it, uh, has released their returns. This isn't like some demonic Democratic plot. It's the idea that the people, the public, have a right to know how you made your money, where your investments are to make sure that you don't have any conflicts of interest. You don't think the American people have a right? I would. They have a right to know that Donald Trump is paying his taxes legally, and we know that since he survived nearly a, a dozen audits. But I would argue that, yes, Democrats have goaded Republicans into doing this. Mitt Romney was a successful businessman. Harry Reid lied, did not know that, that Mitt Romney was not paying taxes. He essentially lied goaded him to release his tax returns. We found out Harry Reid was not right. Mitt Romney was doing everything correctly. They're trying to do the same to Donald Trump. Donald Trump's a successful businessman. That means that sometimes you uh, use risk and, and you take risk, and because of that, you get certain tax breaks. That's fair. That's the way our law works. It incentivizes businessmen to invest, and Democrats, you know, will take all of that out of context, as they did with Mitt Romney. Well, you should let the American people uh, make that judgment. You should make that same uh, exact argument and let the American people take a look at it. I mean, it is as worth pointing but it is but it is worth pointing out that one of the reasons why there are some negative stories about Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation is because they have released this information and people have started diving in and looked at, oh, you got this money from this speech. And I mean, that's one of the it's true that reporters tend to use stuff like this against them. But that's worked against Hillary Clinton in this election, Bill. Yeah, I mean, what's I think you should release his tax returns, but I actually think he's getting away with it pretty well right now. And they're not make, the Democrats aren't doing a very good job, and the media probably isn't uh, making too much of an issue of it. And I think this retort is not ineffective, I've got to say, which is watching, you know, the back and forth. I mean, the email thing is her behavior as Secretary of State. And it is genuinely, uh, she now admits, in fact, that she did something very foolish when she became Secretary of State, a totally unforced error in her most recent high position in the government. Trump's a businessman. He's been involved in a million deals. We can all argue about the bankruptcies and all this. I think people will make their own judgments about his ethics as a businessman. So in a certain way, I think that the tax returns thing probably doesn't additionally hurt him. I, I'm struck how much, for all, I am not pro-Trump, but he has been on the offensive the last couple of weeks, and she's been on the defensive, and I think he is gaining somewhat in the polls. That CNN poll might have been a little bit exaggerated, but it is striking to me. He is the one who's leaving the speech today, incoherent defense policy speech, but still driving over here, you hear it on the radio, Trump, to build up our military, we need to be stronger, we also shouldn't have foolish interventions. She won't even talk about foreign policy, but she's so worried about the offending President Obama or the defending indefensible policies of Obama or explaining that she differed from Obama on certain things. Uh, I really am struck. And also, on, even on domestic policy, he has some simple-minded things. What is, her, what is she for? It's a change election. What change is she for? She's playing defense too much. In my opinion, as an outsider, I think she's just, she really is playing defense. As an outsider? Point. In trend. <laughs> I mean, someone who's not an either someone side. Someone who doesn't like either candidate. <laughs> exactly. All right. Mitch, Bill, and Kaylee, thank you so much. Appreciate it. In our